Now let's take an example on the income statement. The income statement shows the revenues, the expenses, and the net income or net loss of a company. In this example, we have the income statement of Sierra Company. So in the title, we have Sierra Company, and we mentioned that it is a, an income statement, and the period, which is for the month, ended October 31, 2014. First, we list all the revenues, then all expenses, and then we have to find the net income or net loss. In this exercise, we have only service revenue as revenues, which is 10,600. Then we have to list the expenses. We have salaries and wages. We have rent expense, supplies expense, depreciation expense, interest expense, and insurance expense. The total of expenses is 7,740. In this exercise, the total revenues exceed the total expenses. Since the total revenues exceeds the total expenses, we have net income. And to find the amount of net income, we deduct the total expenses from total revenues. We have total revenues of 10,600 minus total expenses 7,740. So the net income is 2,860. The amount of net income should be transferred to the next statement, which is the retained earnings statement in the next slide. I'd like to note that if the total expenses exceed the total revenues, then we have net loss. To prepare the retained earnings statement, we take the retained earnings beginning balance, we add the net income previously calculated in the income statement, and we deduct the dividends paid during the period. To prepare the retained earnings statement for our example, we start always by the title, Sierra Corporation. We are preparing the retained earnings statement for the month ended October 31, 2014. However, we start with the retained earnings beginning, which is on October 1st. Suppose that uh, the retained earnings beginning is zero in our example. We add the net income previously calculated in the income statement, which is 2,860. So we have the total of 2,860. Then we deduct the dividends paid during uh, October, which is 500, to find retained earnings ending on October 31, 2360. The balance of retained earnings ending, which is 2360, should be transferred to the next statement, which is the balance sheet, and the next slide. The balance sheet is prepared at a specific point of time. In the balance sheet, we list all assets in the first part, and in the second part, we list all liabilities and stockholders' equity, which are the claims against assets. However, the balance sheet proves the basic accounting equation, which is assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. To prepare the balance sheet in our example, we start with the title, Sierra Corporation, balance sheet on October 31, 2014. The balance sheet is divided into sections. The first section is the assets, and the second section is for liabilities and stockholders' equity. In our example, we have cash, accounts receivable, supplies, prepaid insurance, and equipment as assets. The total assets in this example is 21,910. The second section is liabilities and stockholders equity. We start with liabilities and then we prepare the stockholders equity. In this exercise, we have liabilities the following. We have notes payable, accounts payable, unearned service revenue, salaries and wages payable, and interest payable. The total of these liabilities is 9,550. To find the stockholders' equity, we add the retained earnings ending previously calculated in the retained earnings statement to the common stock. The common stock is given, which is $10,000, and the retained earnings ending previously calculated in the retained earnings statement was 2,360. So the total, the total stockholders' equity is 10,000 plus 2,360 is 12,360. 
Now to find the total liabilities and stockholders equity, we add the total liabilities, which is 9,550 to the total stockholders equity, which is 12,360 to find total liabilities and stockholders equity, 21,910. We can realize that the total assets equal the total liabilities and stockholders equity 21,910.